Good morning, folks. We've got news from around the world and around the cosmos. We begin with the sun, where a bright active region is incoming from the limb on the left. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with the southern coronal hole having turned out. That bright region on the left is another umbral fields only area. No actual sunspots beneath him visible this morning. The geomagnetic conditions are calm and quiet right now, and that's as the solar wind takes a dive. We figured the coronal hole stream had a chance to impact yesterday, but instead it was merely the crossing of the heliospheric current sheet. Blue up top begins its flip this morning as plasma speed in purple drops out with a slight hump on the particle density in orange above that. This means that as we cross the equatorial current sheet of the solar system, which is still happening this morning as I speak, there was a slower, denser wave leading the edge of that sheet. We will be monitoring it today for the completion of that magnetic sector change. Little object of interest on Soho Lasco here. If you don't see it, I will zoom in and track it next. That is indeed a little sun diving comet, appears to be of the Kreutz family position of approach, repeating the red C2 frame here as it disintegrated under the intense solar wind pressure. Folks, we've got it all here in the U.S. Near record heat in the east yesterday, record cold and snow continues hitting the west and central states. At the core of the weather concerns are both temperature livability and food production, NASA and USGS teaming up on that last one. They are using satellite data to track every crop, every day, every change. This is used for everything from setting the price of the markets to recognize deleterious effects of the weather on crops. It helps inform the decision makers in charge of our food about trends and the overall security of the pipeline. Up next, it is always good that scientists continue to study the mechanisms of solar flares. Solar flare prediction might be possible one day, but for now, we applaud their journey, especially because they have developed a tendency to include very cool flux rope diagrams from their modeling whenever they publish papers, usually alongside the actual sunspot and active region images. Another realm of burgeoning study is the 21 centimeter line of neutral hydrogen in some of the deepest regions of the cosmos. The MWA is an array of 256 tiles containing thousands of radio antenna and they are seeking out the region of space just past 12 billion light years ago. Get more information about the neutral hydrogen, the first stars, and the overall cosmic environment of the time. And here's a little hint for them. It is complex. Great paper here showing how the universe is not only complex, but from thermal, kinetic, and magnetic perspectives, it doesn't look the same. Sure, the skeleton might be there, but the minutia is elusive if you only have one pair of eyes. Last but not least, folks, an outstanding study of compact stars and plasma nuclei, known as neutron stars and black holes to many people, is 100% plasma cosmology, and they couldn't bring themselves to quite say it. So what have we been hearing about star-forming clouds, how they come together, what determines the star formation rate, and what determines the final look of the stellar neighborhood? plasma turbulence, and magnetic fields every step of the way. While the interiors of these objects may remain a mystery for millennia, we do have good visibility of the regions surrounding them. The dynamics ongoing are indeed being driven by plasma turbulence and magnetic field activity at those, quote, neutron stars and black holes as well. Folks, it actually appears that the wait for this plasma magnetic team to get its due for all it does in the cosmos may be slightly shorter than we had envisioned. Learn more about plasma cosmology with a link to our movie found just below this video. All of our movies are found on our channel homepage and the homepage of our website. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Over at otf.cells.com, we've got our gear and our books discounted. Cat doth decree it persisteth through Small Business Saturday. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.